We definitely want to get another check of our weather. You said the word relief. I'm holding you to <laughs> it. I'm hoping there's some relief in the forecast. Not today. Tomorrow we will see some relief okay, out there. We'll take but it. It'll still be hot, tomorrow. but not as oppressive as it is today. So yeah, because today's pretty bad. I mean, it's supposed to be hot anyway this time of year. But right now, though, we are looking live outside, and it's not too bad out there weather-wise. If you like the sunshine, any little rain we had earlier has gone away. The skies have cleared, and look how nice it is out there. Uh, but it's ridiculously hot outside. 92 degrees, dew point 79. Feels like 109 right now here in New Orleans. So that is ridiculously hot out there. Hotter than we usually like to see. Not that we want to see the heat out there, but a heat index about 100 to 105 is okay for us. When it gets up close to 110, that causes some problems. How about air temperatures? Slide out 94, 95, Bogalusa, 94, Macomb, Hammond, and Gonzales in the lower 90s. Then you see some 80s, Homa, Galliano, and Bell Chase, and Boothville. A lot of clouds and rain as you go further away to the south of the city. And they had a lot of rain earlier today too, but look at the heat index numbers now where feels like temperatures 109 in Kenner, 110 Slidell, Gonzales area, uh, Lakefront Airport 108, Gulfport was at 110, they're down to 107 now, so very hot, especially from the city northward here and definitely on the North Shore to Mississippi Coast, and because of these heat index values so high, we are going to continue seeing them staying that high, 108, 19, 110, maybe up to 112 or greater before they kind of taper off a little bit once we get to about 7 o'clock this evening, so we do have an excessive heat warning, something we have not had issued since about 2015. It was about August 10th ish of 2015, and that's we did have that up in the North Shore. South Shore, we had record highs of 98 degrees down here, uh, but that was at least going on for the North Shore to Baton Rouge. I think Baton Rouge, the heat index got to about 113 that year there. So it's been a few years since I've issued that product here for part of our viewing area in southeast Louisiana. That does include the North Shore to Baton Rouge, Mississippi, coastal areas and points northward. South of it, you can see a heat advisory in effect. Now the difference between the two basically is the heat index number, which is higher for an excessive heat warning and lower for the actual heat advisory. So heat excessive or excessive heat warning, heat index has to get to at least 113 or greater and last for about six to eight hours and heat illnesses are likely if you do not take care of yourself. The heat advisory heat index about 108 to 112. That's the threshold. Those four degrees there for about seven to 10 hours. Heat illnesses are possible but can be prevented as well too. So more likely for an excessive heat warning, uh, not necessarily as likely for an advisory. Regardless, you still need to take care of yourself, hydrate, stay in a cool place, take frequent breaks out there as well, and try not to get one of the heat related illnesses. Heat exhaustion, you're faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, Kylie skin, nausea, vomiting, weak, uh, rapid pulse there, and muscle cramps, but a heat stroke, you have a throbbing headache, no sweating at all, your body temperature over 103 degrees, nausea and vomiting are possible too, a rapid, strong pulse, and they actually lose consciousness. So if you know someone that has one of these uh, kind of symptoms, be sure to call 911 immediately. They need to be taken attentive into a hospital. Now, with air temperatures kind of staying in the mid 90s, there's small chance rain 30 to 40 percent for the rest of the day today, and also be keep in mind we get to 95 96 in 20 minutes your car heats up to 124 degrees 138 in one hour so always check the back seat especially if your routine has changed now that kids are back in school one thing you can do to keep cool of course a snowball maybe two of them today with the high of 96 to heat index 110 or greater across the area that'd be highly recommended now not much in the way of rain out there a couple showers not too far away from Lake Bourne area and back farther to the south but much of the North Shore is dry we had a little rain here earlier now it's kind of dissipated but still a little bit some rain from Hanville back to Dissolomans and over toward Raceland Chack Bay area. But the showers we had here have dissipated. You saw how blue the skies are right now, so it has become clear across the area. High pressure southwest pumping up all that humid air. But here's our relief this cold front that is working its way southward. Now, first, our upper level high has to build to the west. That'll happen later today and tomorrow, allowing for a trough to set up over the eastern half of the country. That'll send the front our way, bringing us with some strong storms and rain tomorrow. And won't be quite as hot out there either as our chance for rain climbs up to 70% for tomorrow, down a little bit to 40% as we head into Thursday. But you'll see some scattered storms out there today. A few more by 4 o'clock this afternoon, kind of tapering off by 7 o'clock. So you're lucky if you see the rain out there today. Tomorrow morning starting fairly quiet, but then with the heating of the day, scattered storms from 2 o'clock in the afternoon continuing through 4 o'clock. And some of these could get intense tomorrow, but this will really help to keep our temperatures down. But need to watch out for maybe some street flooding issues. Rain kind of tapers off to 10, 7 o'clock and by 10 o'clock, maybe a few lingering showers out there as well, too. So the chance of rain is going to go up along with the cloud cover tomorrow. So that should take care of the heat. So 96 today. 
today, 91 tomorrow. Again, the heat advisory in the South Shore, excessive heat warning on the North Shore. And as we go into the weekend, more typical weather, highs in the lower 90s with a 30% chance for rain.